Hello everyone. Today, I'm excited to introduce the BLI Switch V2, a versatile HDMI switch designed for seamless control of multiple devices. It's fully compatible with BLI KVM, KVM over IP devices, allowing you to remotely manage up to eight computers with ease. Let me walk you through its features and show you how it works. Front panel overview. Let's start with the front panel, reset and power buttons. These work like the restart and power buttons on a PC's mainframe. USB 1 to USB 3 ports. Perfect for connecting devices like a mouse, keyboard, or printer. Buttons 1 to 8. Use these to switch between up to 8 channels effortlessly. Rear panel overview. Now, let's move to the rear panel, where BLI Switch V2 truly shines. Video in. HDMI input for each channel. USB. For connecting a mouse and keyboard. ATX, a unique feature that controls power on, off, and restart for each computer. Video out, connect this to your monitor or directly to a BLI KVM device for remote access. Power port, while HDMI and USB can power the device, we recommend using the dedicated power port for stable performance. Console port, enables seamless integration with BLI KVM devices, allowing remote switching and control. The BLI Switch V2 is specifically designed to enhance your setup when paired with BLI KVM, KVM over IP devices, providing complete power, video, and USB control remotely. Basic Connection Setup Let's set up the BLI Switch V2 with 8 devices. Connect HDMI and USB for all 8 channels. For channels 7 and 8, also connect the ATX cables. Plug in the power cable to the switch. Connect the monitor to the video out port and plug in your mouse and keyboard to USB 1 and USB 2. Once everything is connected, the channel indicator will light up, showing that PC 1 is active. Channel switching demonstration. Now, I'll demonstrate switching between channels. Starting with channel 1, you'll see the PC 1 desktop. Switching to channel 2, you'll see PC 2, with the mouse working seamlessly. Channels 3 to 8. All switch smoothly, with indicators lighting up accordingly. For channels 7 and 8, I'll also show the ATX power control. Press the power button to turn off the device. The fan stops, and the lights go out. Press the power button again to restart it. The system boots back up. Connecting BLI Switch V2 to BLI KVM, KVM over IP. The BLI Switch V2 integrates perfectly with BLI KVM, KVM over IP devices. Here's how to set it up with a BLI KVM V4. The steps are similar for other models. Power the BLI KVM V4. Connect the switch's video out to the BLI KVM's HDMI IN. Connect the switch's USB out to the BLI KVM's USB PC port. Use the ATX out to connect to the BLI KVM's ATX port. Lastly, connect the console port on the switch to the BLI KVM's USB port. For local monitoring, connect the BLI KVM's HDMI out to your monitor. With this setup, you can use the BLI KVM's web UI to manage your connected devices remotely. Web UI demonstration. Let's control the switch through the web UI, which is currently under development. Open the switch configuration interface and select Switch V2. Enable the switch, it will show as running. Switch between channels 1 to 8 directly from the web UI. You can also control power for channels 7 and 8. Power off. Shuts the system down. Power on. Boots the system back up successfully. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, join our Discord.